You want to know how to connect your Azure Active Directory to Keycloak so that all your users are able to sign in to the applications which are secured by Keycloak? So grab yourself a coffee, give me some minutes and listen to me. I show you how. So what do we need to connect Azure AD and Keycloak? Of course, Keycloak Server and the Azure Active Directory. You see here, uh, the Keycloak server is just a plain um, Keycloak server, nothing configured, no users, no clients, no identity providers. And on the other hand, I have my um, Azure Active Directory, which is uh, just a um, test um, account from Microsoft Azure Active Directory uh, with some actual test users in here and uh, nothing more. And now we can start to configure Keycloak. So well, let's start with the identity providers. So we add an identity provider based on the OpenID Connect protocol. Um, this is because um, Azure Active Directory provides also an uh, OpenID Connect uh, API to connect other applications against. And uh, we just uh, use the OpenID Connect protocol and start configuring our identity provider. So we have an alias um, and we just, uh, call it Azure AD. Um, we have a display name, Azure AD, for example, and just copy already this um, URI. You need this for configuring the um, Azure Active Directory later on. It's enabled. Um, we don't store tokens for now. You can store tokens. Uh, you, the token you get from the Active Directory to, um, to use it um, in your application later on if you need it, but um, that's um, not a must. You can trust the email and um, you can set some other things. We don't need this. Also login flows. What happens if the user authenticates the first time through this identity provider? What happens um, after each authentication through this identity provider with the post login flow? Um, the sync mode. So this is uh, import or false. Um, you can set to import. It's only importing the user's data, the profile data, the first time you uh, configure. Um, the first time the, the user authenticates, the, the data will be imported. And uh, the force option would be um, every time the user authenticates, the uh, data will be updated in Keycloak. And uh, then you need um, some data from um, your OpenID Connect provider, in this case, the Azure ID, of course. And now we have to switch to our Active Directory and configure um, the application here to connect Keycloak against. So we go to app registrations in the Active Directory, where we can register a new application and we call it Keycloak Demo. And uh, we want only that accounts in our organizational directory are able to um, use this, this um, identity provider. So let's uh, select the first option. And um, here, um, the, the last point, the redirect URI, we need to paste the URI we just copied from uh, the Keycloak, which is um, our broker URI for the Azure AD endpoint. And it's a type of web application. Just register this application. And um, we now need the endpoints. Just switch to the endpoints tab. And we need uh, the first two endpoints, the authorization endpoint and the token endpoint to configure. So let's copy the authorization endpoint, switch back to Keycloak and paste the authorization URL in here. And also do the same with the token endpoint to receive the token from Active Directory. And these are the two mandatory URLs you have to configure. If you want to have a logout URL, back channel logout, you can configure it here, but we skip this for now. We just um, focus on the mandatory fields. And um, we now have to set also a client authentication because uh, the Keycloak client has to authenticate 
itself against the Microsoft Active Directory. And um, this is a client secret we're sending as a post request and we need the client um, ID. The client ID we get from here. These are in the um, essentials box of our Keycloak demo application. We just copy it, paste it in here and we now need a client secret. And we have to create this um, client secret. This is not created for us um, upfront, but we have to um, create like a secret. So we can give this secret a um, description if you want, if you like. Secret and um, tell the application how long the secret will be valid. So default is expires in one year. Let's set it to this and also copy the value of the secret, copy it and paste it in here. You can have a look, looks good. And additionally, we want to have some uh, basic profile data of uh, the Active Directory. So we uh, configure the default scopes also. This is uh, open ID. It's also the default. You can see here, if nothing is um, configured, the default is open ID. But we also want to have um, the profile and email of the user so that we get all this data back from um, Active Directory. So the rest of the uh, fields will leave default and hit save. So all this is saved. Um, we have our Azure AD and uh, also in the Active Directory we are all set. We don't have to um, do anything else. Our, here's our Keycloak demo application and now we test it if it works. Let's go to the Clients tab and we're using our account application. We're opening in a new private window to have a clean environment. Hit the sign in button and now you see at the bottom uh, the Azure ID button. So this is um, the description of the identity provider we configured, the Azure ID. And if you press the button, don't uh, enter any username password to the um, login form of Keycloak, but hit the Azure ID button so you'll be redirected to Microsoft. And um, let's grab a user, grab Adele, just um, copying the email address, switch back, sign in, enter a password, enter the right password, skip the security questions for now. And now you see there are permissions requested for our Keycloak demo application. That's the name we configured in the Active Directory. And the Active Directory is asking us if we are um, willing to provide the, the basic profile and um, maintain access to the data uh, to uh, Keycloak, to the Keycloak demo application. And we can hit accept and we will be redirected back to uh, Keycloak. And you already see in the upper right corner, we have the name Adele Vance. And if you click on personal info, you see, hey, there's the email address, first name, last name of our user and um, in the account security, just go to sign in. You see there's no password set up because the user itself um, authenticates through Azure AD. So there's no password set up in Keycloak itself. And in the linked account section, you see there's a linked uh, login provider, the Azure ID. Here we can unlink the account, but we don't have to, we should not, if we want to use it, of course. Yeah, that's it. You can sign out, close this window, go back to Keycloak, and we see in Keycloak, in the user section, um, the user is being created. So there's a representation of this user also in Keycloak, because Keycloak has to know um, about this user, that um, there's a profile and how this user will authenticate itself against any other um, identity provider.
So that's it, how to connect Keycloak and Azure Active Directory. Uh, I hope you had some fun watching this video. Uh, give me some thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or if you want to see any other topics to be covered from a video by me, put it also in the comments. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.